And so, a link has been established. Again, because it is another week in Mexico, which means new series, new season, and one more new car to add to the ever-growing title. And yes, there is a reason I'm driving this today. It's because we're taking a look at the Lincoln Co. 03 Plus's brother, the number 100 Cyan edition for racing. This has been seen as a front-wheel drive touring car, and I believe it holds records on the Nurburgring. Anyway, it has 340 brake horsepower, 312 for pounds of torque, it weighs 2,900 pounds, and it has a 1.97 litre engine. And uh, it starts in A800. So, as we can see by our wonderful overhead lighting, it looks essentially the exact same as the O3 Plus, except it doesn't have a license plate, it has a centre rear exhaust, and uh, a cool looking little livery. Going to the inside, it is completely stripped out, it is gutted, there's roll cages, there's everything. But uh, let's go ahead and take a listen to how this thing sounds, shall we? Not too bad, as you can see there's no option for aero, but if we go to conversion, what do we have? We have two different engine swaps, the 1.6 litre inline 4 and... Oh, so why can I put a 7.2 litre V8 in this? From stock, this thing is powered by a wonderful single turbo. Upgrading that takes it immediately up into S1 and gives it 412 brake horsepower. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try and race this thing stock. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the paints. We only have one manufacturer colour, but we do have a couple of different advanced paint groups. Paint group number one is the body of the car itself and what's paint group number two let's see paint group number two is it is oh wait you can paint the interior of this oh oh i like that okay that is a cool addition that is a really really cool addition Something else I didn't notice was this going out of the back bumper. Just there. Cool. And away we go. We are A-class, we are front-wheel drive, and we are being beaten by a Morris. So yeah, this thing was used in actual real-world touring car championships. As to how it did, well, uh, I'm hoping it did well. I'm not quite too sure. We'll probably have to look that up. Editing me, look that up, please. But now we're going to go ahead and see how this does in the virtual world, which it seems to be doing okay right now. We've got six different gears to work with, and we've already hauled ourselves up into a fourth place. So, let's try and see if we can get even higher up that leaderboard. In fact, yeah, we can. Third, second, ow. And let's try and see if we can get a first by the end of the race. The thing that I love about this car is it is insanely grippy. That was sixth gear, full pelt, no braking, and it just handled it like it was nothing. That is that that's really really cool actually i really like that but let's try and see if we can catch first i've got a feeling this car could definitely do it just got a bit held up by jaguar we're getting close it's a bmw on the inside to the outside to a slight collision to on the brakes can we make it there we go that one we did actually have to go on the brakes because otherwise we were not going to make that but let's go ahead and try and see if we can get this thing across the line i honestly think this is actually a really nice car. And across the line we go. For A800, this thing is really, really grippy. I'm actually really impressed. So it turns out this thing's actually pretty good. But now we go ahead and turn it into a little bit of a drag build. So we're going V8. We are, of course, going with the twin turbo. And hopefully we can make this thing all-wheel drive. We can. We can also make it rear wheel, which will come in handy later on this video. But uh, let's go ahead, throw some drag tires on this thing and go and see what chaos we can cause. So here we are now pulling up to the drag strip of the Super 7 car just called Speed. But let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. Sadly there is no, um, I dare say, uh, sword, smart ketchup colour. But let's go ahead and see what we can do. Off the line we go into second, third. This thing is stupid fast. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're going to get 200. Yep. 207 through the camera and still going. Right, I'm going to go ahead and throw some road tires in this thing real quick. And we're going to go and see what chaos this can do. And by road tires, I mean we're just going to go ahead and put the normal tires on it. 
So here we are now at the edge of the motorway with our Lincoln Co. 03, 1300 brake horsepower. Let's go ahead and see what pure chaos this thing is going to bring. Hopefully, I'm guessing maybe about 225, 230, but let's go up to a speed zone and find out just how close we're going to get. And out of the speed zone at 252. And this thing still feels like it wants to go faster. So let's go over to the downhill, our speed camera, and go and see what we can get there. Okay, where is our friendly little camera? There it is, 257, and going downhill, can we crack 260? We can! 261 going down here, this thing, this is insane. And it still feels relatively grippy, even all-wheel drive. Wow, okay, I, I don't have any words. But uh, now we've got to go ahead and take this thing and go and take it drifting. This should be interesting. And so, here we go into the drift zone with some insane amounts of angle, with only slightly class of the wall and spin. Oops. Uh, come on, let's get this thing back under control. This thing is mad. It is honestly mad. I was in first gear completely, but I wasn't first. Let me just tweak some things quickly. Okay, things tweaked. Let's go ahead and give this a, another shot at the drift zone, going back the other way. Let's see, does it feel nicer now? Oh, that was very snappy from the front end. That was incredibly snappy from the front end. Okay, can we just keep it going at least? Yep, 37,000. Okay, maybe this thing's not quite as cut out for drifting as I thought it would be. Or maybe I should have thrown it into rear-wheel drive. Oh, well, too late now. Honestly though, this thing is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you go ahead and get one of these for yourselves, because at the end of the day, it's a touring car in a Horizon game. We don't usually get that often. I think the last time we had a full proper race car in a Horizon game might have been back in Forza Horizon 3. Somebody in the comments, correct me on that if I'm wrong. Aside from the car pass car in this game, I almost forgot. So you could say they have re-established a link in racing, pun fully intended. But honestly, this car is really, really good. I genuinely do like it, which is interesting. Plus, it has up here, it has like um, things and stuff on the window. That That is really cool. I wish we could do that with normal cars, just have... Uh, the ability to put stickers and stuff over the windows, that would be amazing. We are seeing that more now with a lot of other cars, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I am going to finish it here before I ramble on for ages. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video, and I'm just going to go ahead and screenshot that. Thank you for watching. Tech out. Okay, I'm going to go convert this thing to front-wheel drive, and then to the mountain!